What's good, guys? Your boy, Mr. Old School Rider, come back at you one more game for flexing for less. Want to show you a couple of things that I got here today when I was at Southwest Center Mall, aka Red Bird, baby. Get my hair cut, of course. You know your boy got faded and bleed on the line. You know, I only know that dude's name, but shout out to him anyway, big dude. Think uh Bob Shot called uh SW Salon or something, something like that. Cuts uh, top floor across from Leeds, if I'm not mistaken. But let's check this out real quick. Got some uh, ID dot Adidas. Whew, wait, man, sleepy. My goodness. I hold the phone, man. You want to show you some stuff here? You know, just some red glow shoes, just some Stan Smith Adidas, timeless. Can't beat Stan Smith. I like the shell toe, but just something about these Stan Smiths, man. They 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 wrap they they go around your uh bottom of your ankle pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the thing about Adidas that I hate the most, they, they don't put that much padding on the bottom, man. They do, but they don't. You feel everything like some low pro tires on your whip, man. You know, like on my car, you know, I only got 15s on it. I don't have no uh, 24s or, or nothing like that on the Oldsmobile. You know, I like to keep it classy but comfortable. You know, it's on the Oldsmobile. You know, I got them swangers. You know, the Cadillac wheels from uh, back in the 80s, of course. You know, I got my uh, Toyo tires on there, but they're so comfortable when you're driving. I got to replace that right shock on the uh, in the back. Did three, but I couldn't do the fourth, and it was getting on my nerves, you know, with old cars. And the way my uncle did it, he had the stuff sitting up for so long. All the uh, bolts and nuts and all that stuff just kind of rusted, you know, just kind of hard to take off. I'm going to get somebody to do that for me one time. Normally, these Stan Smith Adidas, 75 bucks, my price. Actually, on sale price, thirty nine ninety nine. Heck yeah, that's my price. This was actually the first pair of Adidas that I bought back in um, high school. Couldn't afford to buy Jordans and all that other stuff like everybody else had. You know, I always stayed in my lane. I did what I do. I bought a lot of pair of white shoes in my lifetime. But if you're poor, parents or kids or grown folks, whoever... Do not buy white shoes if you cannot afford to get another pair of shoes. If you're going to be rocking this, you got to get like a couple pair if you can. If not, you need to get something else. They had the all black ones. And they also had the red and white ones. I originally had the red and white ones in my hand. That was the only size I saw on the table. That was the 11. The other ones was like the red and... I'm sorry. The red and white ones was a size 11. I guess the way they had the shoes display, you couldn't tell. You had some other 11s. I saw like some 8s, some 13s, and some 10s. 10 and a half. I'm like, nah, this ain't going to work, man. This ain't going to work. So, we was going to go ahead and order them, but he checked the inventory. He had some 11s in the green and white ones. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go and get the red and I mean, go get the green and white ones. I I got them holding the, uh, the red and white ones for me for another day. I might end up putting those in the black ones on left way as well. So I can go ahead and just have them ready to go. I'm going to check another uh, foot action. To see if they're going to have some more Stan Smith for Adidas. You know, $39.99. You got to go ahead and do it, man. I mean, I like the shell toes, but my right foot kind of do something kind of strange on this side over here. So, you know, the way the shell toe is made, it's just a little narrow for my foot. I just can't do it, man. That green is classic. It takes me back to high school and in college. You can always, if you got on jeans, you can just cover that up. And you got an all-white shoe. That's the secret of the day. That's some game right there. I'm not going to lie to you, God. That's some game right there. Normally on a shoe box, they have a date on it. But on the Adidas, i never seen a date on them. But it's fine. I saw my cops the other day in the same store at um, Foot Action. You ain't gonna believe this, but please believe it. You already know who this is with the hologram on it. That's a jump man, jump man, Jordan with the black hat with the gray splatter. You man, you can't tell me. 
you not fucking with this hat, man. You can't tell me you're not. You, if you're not, you're lying. Your boy, Mr. Old School Rider, you see that price? I ain't pay that price. Might as well go and get a pen and strike that shit out. You know, the uh, SA guy say, man, you know, I, you know, I had a coupon to get $10 off of $50. The shoes were $39.99. I was trying to buy something that was like $11 or at least $10.01. I just couldn't do it. They ain't have nothing for $10.01 before tax or $11. I'm like, man, that put me in a pickle. I wasn't trying to spend that much, but it worked out anyway. But he showed me a section for four ninety nine. I passed this section up a bunch of times in the store. We was in that store for like twenty minutes trying to figure out what can I add. I was trying to keep it right at fifty or something like that fifty. But at the end of the day, before it taxed, it ended up being like fifty nine and some change. But after taxes. With the discount code, I end up paying $48 and some change for four items. You're going to see the other two in a second. This particular hat, I think I'm probably going to end up wearing this hat the most. Regular price 35 but I end up paying $4.99 for that hat. What? For real. Also, I got another Jordan hat. This hat is so hard, man. That gray. Reflecting gray with the black jump man in the middle. If you ain't messing with this hat, I don't know what to tell you, boy. Man, I like this one so much as well. I got the black snap. If you see the thing in the middle, the, this is official. This ain't a woke. Can't be going around stunning you wearing fake stuff. Like that uh, that 20 year old black chick with them five kids with that fake ass Nike shit. Man, just take your ass to the clearance section. Or whatever. I know some people got to hustle and everything, but I ain't wearing no fake shit. That hat was four ninety nine as well. Also, you see these hats people wearing nowadays. I've been rocking these hats for years. They was always cheap at Walmart, like three, four dollars. Them dad hats with a mixtape on there. I'm, you know, I'm old school with it. You know, even got some mixtape socks. I already wore those out already with the color. This one is uh, normally twenty dollars. I pay four ninety nine for this hat. I glad that man showed me like, get over here in this section. That's twenty normally. Let me see. That's seventy five, ninety five, seventy five. Normally, if I was going uh, before tax, it'd be like a hundred and what sixty five dollars for four items. Me, I ain't doing that. Not your boy. Not your boy. Not your boy. Flexing for less price after taxing my discount code. Forty eight dollars and some chain. I'm just saying, I ain't playing. I'm out of her peace. That's how you do it.